All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Bunny, Bunny Girl, Girl Senpai, Senpai Season 1, one episode, episode 6. Five. Yeah, it's 6, actually. I was totally... Yeah, I should have told you earlier. It's it's five. It's not 5, it's 6. What what happened? Five, five, 5 went up today. Oh. Yeah. Then why why are you wasting time with this here? I, di I, I didn't realize that you had said 5. I literally have 5 up here on the player, though. Yeah. So... It's yeah, okay. So so four is time loop, and then five is uh you know him defending her and all that stuff. Right, and she, right. She falls for him. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, okay. I was so sad and betrayed. You literally could have just said something. I'm like I'm sitting there like, why would you do this? I'm improving with you, and you're like, no, it's just actually like it's six. actually six. <laughs> you bastard. I trust you. <sighs> it's not improv, that's... <laughs> like, haha, you fool! You You're... fell for it! My birthday was yesterday! <laughs> you missed it! <laughs> All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Bunny, Bunny Girl, Girl Senpai, Senpai, Season 1, Episode 7. Six. No, yeah, it's 6. Yeah. Fuck yeah. you! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, Koga, her arc is, you know, going into its third episode, and apparently... She does, in fact, like Sakta. Well, because yeah, she she has uh, started to show with her body language mm -hmm. and with some of the way she speaks around certain subjects that she, yep. uh, yeah, probably has a crush that's developing on him. And she is jealous yeah. of Mai. She is definitely jealous of Mai because mm. she understands that while um, they have something like uh -huh. her and Sakata. Like they, right. they do have a connection here that's formed a little bit. Um, Mize is something that was so powerful <sighs> that he went and yelled, proclaimed, even declared in to the, the loudest way school. to the entire school that he's in love with her. Yep. There is no chance she has of beating that. Unless maybe time loop. Unless Laplace's demon. Yeah. Were to. Mm -hmm. uh, want a better iteration on events. Possibly. Yeah. Possibly. So, how far are we going back? Are we not going back at all? Who Is it knows? that we're going to be frozen to here say? and replace, you know, just replay the same day over and over and over it's again? It's possible. How much damage could she even do to their dynamic? Before Futaba fixes everything. Well, it will. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say, in like a 24 hour period, but like. <laughs> That's the real question here, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh huh. Huh. Yep. I guess we'll find out. We will. So, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. All right, everyone, now be sure to go check out the reaction portion of the video in the description below, then come back here for the discussion. All right. Okay. Koga's arc is resolved. Very, very good conclusion to Koga's arc. Yep. I loved the minor twist of that we reverted everything back all the way to June because right. she got exactly what she wanted. Mm -hmm. She was able then to uh, express her feelings uh, concerning her internal state, bring it out into yep. the light, have uh, Sakuta acknowledge them, mm -hmm. have them be valued, and thus she got what she wanted. She gained a friend. Right. And potentially a lifetime friend. There's a lot of things about this to where Sakuta understanding not only her feelings, but also a little bit more about who she is as a person and stuff that will make them have great opportunity for interactions in the future that won't be colored by any kind of manipulative hostage holding you uh -huh. will like me eventually kind of shit. Right. Because I want to bring this up there really quickly. I totally understand her feelings here. Hmm. Yeah, that's a really rough situation to and, be in, and her not fully understanding her feelings too, of being like, no, 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 mm -hmm. I, it, it's just one more day. It's not going to do it again, right? I'm, I, I'm good. I'm good. This is, oh, it did it again. Wait, it, but not this. Oh, it did it again. Right. Hmm. Yeah. But this is the part. This is the part that um, is the part where you start to lose me a bit, uh, Koga. Yeah. When she starts to realize that things are looping, mm -hmm. and she doesn't do anything about it. Yep. Every time you don't do something about it, mm -hmm. you start to turn this more and more into what I was calling earlier just a hostage situation. Right. Where you are holding another person responsible for your feelings. Uh, right. Now, human relations are complicated. Mm -hmm. People do things 
that you know you then you then feel something in, in a very dramatic way with regards to this and i would say that a lot of people are not only so different and unique but a lot of people are not able to control their feelings Totally. That's it's, totally it's, a that's totally a situation we as human beings find ourselves in constantly. Right. That is almost a fundamental aspect of them being feelings. Exactly. Otherwise they would just be logic and things like that. Right. Yeah. But by that very nature then, no one else is responsible for your feelings. Nope. And this is a very, very gross lie that I have heard a lot of people push just in real life in general. Oh, uh -huh. Is that you're responsible for how, how you, you made me feel. Right. No, you are responsible for what you did in sure. actions, but mm -hmm. feelings is entirely a thing that you responded. Right. Put put in another light to make it a bit more obvious. Yes. Let's say it's reversed and and the mm -hmm. and Koga is not a cute anime girl anymore. Yep. Let's say mm -hmm. let's say she is someone who would not as immediately draw your sympathies necessarily sure. and is like, "Oh, because you did something now now I, I have some ownership over you. Yep. Yep. Yeah, no, that that's that doesn't fly. <laughs> no. So no. so I love the fact that Sakate was patient with her, asked her questions, yeah. came up to her and confronted her and was like, hey, what's going on? We need to deal with this. Yeah. This needs to be brought out. Yep. And then when you say those things that basically show that yes, you're conflicted, the the feelings that you have are not the feelings that you want to have. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Right. Talk about them, bring yep. them out, let them be what they are, experience right. them, communicate because them so that we can understand that they are a thing that you are feeling right now. Right, because but emotions they will go, they right. will change. Yes. Emotions do not last forever. Exactly. And they, they, they're not designed to. In fact, they're supposed to go pretty quickly. Yeah, but it's, the a, reason, it's, a, it's a wave. Yeah, yeah. Usually, usually what I've what I've heard from, from the, the professionals on the matter is that it's about two minutes and that emotions aren't usually supposed to last longer than that and if they do it's because you're holding on to it yep right and so in this situation yep. sh she's holding on to it she doesn't yep. want to be holding on to it she doesn't fully realize that she's holding on to it yeah, but that's, that's what she's that's, doing that's rough that's rough yeah and and by keeping the emotions bottled up on the inside that's mm -hmm. a form of holding on to it and yeah. then as a result they they won't actually run their course yeah but i have i have i have personal issues mm -hmm. with um the the kind of thinking that well feelings change mm -hmm. so therefore i'm going to i'm going to basically hold a person hostage until their feelings align with mine right and and that is something that people do and it is disgusting and, disgusting and using <laughs> and using the term of hostage that like in this situation, because of the time loop, this and is where like I, that, it works a little bit easier. It's it's a it's a much clearer it's example. It's a much clearer of it. way to put but it. But let's yep. let's change it from oh sure hostage to holding to... someone accountable mm -hmm. for your feelings. Right. That's no. Nope. They, they they don't need to do that. Nope. That is not their job. Nope. That's yours. Exactly. And that's and 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 the this kind of conflict is also something that um, I would say. Uh, becomes a lot less sympathetic w the older the character gets, right? Yes. Because, oh my because God. When, when you're young, it totally makes sense that you might not understand that distinction, right? Yep. Of like, well, hold on. You're, it really feels like you are doing this to me, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Because I'm yeah. having these feelings as a result of the things that you that do. You do right. Therefore, you're responsible for it, right? No. Nope. No. Nope. That's not how it works. God. That's not how it works. Oh, it's, it's so dangerous to get those things conflated mm -hmm. because then you're really not responsible for the way you respond and yes. therefore you don't have to be responsible right oh <laughs> yeah yeah exactly because <laughs> you're not whole nature right because at that point if you're not being responsible for your emotions then mm -hmm. then do you really have to be responsible for your actions yep and and the other person if they're responsible for your emotions does that mean that then they're responsible for how you respond mm -hmm. like no 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 <laughs> no and, and it can get into some really really fucked up kind of manipulative yeah. shit yeah yeah and this is something that i have i have heard and this is why i'm bringing this up is that i want you to understand a little bit as to why i didn't really empathize with her mm. here i understand and sympathize sure but as to the situation itself it's something that i've i've seen i have had personal experience with i i I very much recoil almost from this kind of thing because it happens a lot, I would say, in minor forms in the adult realm. Um, sure. One of the 
one of the one of the typical kind of uh, situations I've seen is in the manager employee kind of relationship. Oh God. And this one, I think everyone's going to be able to relate to this. If you've worked in a manager, uh, you've been the employee to a manager. Mm -hmm. The manager has certain stresses that the employee does not, right? right. And yep. they're based on things that are the combination of the interaction with the business, the manager, the employee, and the customer. That yep. full package there. Note, there A lot are of things two... tugging them in different directions. Yes, yeah, exactly. But note, there are two parties involved outside of the immediate employee manager. Right. The manager will often end up conflating at times, if they are not that mature at this, the effects of this whole dynamic coming from just the employee. And thus, they will make life for the employee hell mm -hmm. because they then hold the employee responsible for the stress that the manager is feeling. Right. And thus, the employee quits. And mm -hmm. it was not because the company was bad or anything the else. The job was bad. The job was bad or the, the customers were bad. horrible. It was that the manager was bad. And, and I will tell you, for, oh, for any of you that, that, have, that, have, oh. that have not dabbled in the area of, of like true self-employment, yes, um, it is very difficult. Yep. It is it is very frustrating, stressful, all of that yep. stuff because you have all of those roles you yourself, right? Right. You, the buck stops with you, right? Yep. But the positive is that you don't have to deal with those kinds of managers because the manager isn't a person. It's right. a it's an <laughs> it's an amorphous cold system, right? right. Yeah. Of and, and that is and that is your mistress, right? And mm -hmm. that's and that's what you deal with. And yep. and there are there are benefits and and penalties as a result of that. But you don't have to deal with the human element of it and yeah. that alone is something that i have seen even though even though the actual stuff mm. you're doing is way more difficult that is that is the kind of things that i have seen people be like yep it's all worth it because you just don't have to deal with that one angle of things because in this situation high school all of that stuff right, sakata right. knows this girl and everything he knows that he knows that she's that she's trying her her heart is in the right place but it's causing trouble yeah. right yeah and then he he is able to actually you know, deal with it, right? Address right. the situation. Yep. Even if taking taking it, not not having it go into like some completely different avenue, but yeah. even if the roles were just switched, right? Wouldn't that immediately get a whole lot of just messed up? Like, mm -hmm. no, no, you you, you don't you don't yep. want that. And yep. and thankfully in this situation with something like a time loop, it's obvious enough yeah. that it can be noticed for what it is and then dealt with, right? right? But a lot of the times it's not it's not. It's not big enough that people will necessarily be aware that it's happening. Yep. And then that's why good communication yeah. and questions and talking about mm -hmm. this kind of stuff is really important because yep. then you find out where the the the, uh, well, the, the devil's in the is. details. Yeah, where, yeah, you you. Yeah. Whoa, perfect example. Yeah. Yes, great with the Laplace de demon and mm -hmm. all that. Yeah, you get into that and you realize, oh, this is where the hiccup is. Mm -hmm. It's where the, the the machinery is not working with this bit here. We've got some inefficiency right here. What mm -hmm. what is this? Right. And then you talk about it. And you bring it up and yep. you realize, well, right here, she uh, is holding on to two things at once and trying to rectify them by just iterating on the same thing over and over and over again until it, but she's not yeah. changing anything. Right. So the definition of, you know, doing, doing the same, same thing. thing over and over and over again and expecting right. a different result, you know, we know how that goes. It's insanity, right. Yeah. Now, now, and, and I love that, that's one of, the, so, so this arc, mm -hmm. it's one of those ones where, and also when I, when I first watched this show, because mm -hmm. I, I wasn't as familiar with the whole idea of, okay, you have two characters that are the main characters, they get together, right. and then there's other arcs and things that focus on different characters usually girls who end up liking the main character but that doesn't you know but they just have their arc and then and then that sort of th uh, that's their thing yeah i was a lot saltier about the fact that this was happening so so uh, when i first okay. watched this show there was a lot of like i i feel like i gave koga more more shit than she really deserved oh, okay but i i also feel like it's something where even even now koga isn't exactly one of my favorite characters but i like the 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 exploration of the topics and the things yeah, that are gotten yeah. into with her character, yeah, even really if good. it doesn't make necessarily make her like the the person that I'm the most sort of rooting excited for. Excited you know? to see. Excited to see. Yeah, right. exactly. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. A lot of the things that make her character really strong is that in some ways she's so talkative and bubbly that she mm -hmm. brings up a lot of really cool things out of Sakuta. Sure. And then yeah. her character herself, well, 
she's changing rather quickly because she's willing mm -hmm. to be so open about a lot of stuff, yep. especially once she starts to open up to him and trust him a little bit more. Right. The things that make Sakuta in some ways unlikable mm -hmm. are the things that she was able to get over with, get over so quickly because she was willing to keep this very snappy kind of engagement with him. Right. It's, yeah, she was willing to actually be vulnerable with mm -hmm. him. Right, yeah. and and hopefully she'll take that into other areas of her life and realize, you know what? Yeah, maybe I Make don't need to more have genuine these... friends. Yeah, 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 exactly. Make actual friends. Maybe I don't need these crazy convoluted lies and schemes yep. in yep. order to make everything still be okay. Yep, Keep you know, it simple. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah. Yep. I, I really liked how this whole thing built up to the conclusion because I did think that she was telling the truth for the majority of the time. I was thinking. She's she's not that good. Well, yeah, she, she's there's no way <laughs> that it's actually that she's able to do this perfectly the exact same way over and over again. Now, I'm more of assuming things based on if I was in a time loop, there's uh -huh. no way my neurotic self would be right. able to keep everything exactly the same. So I am, don't yes, yeah, I am a know? terrible liar. Like, yeah, yeah. most of the time, you yeah, know. Yeah. So I would say I am I am a decent <laughs> enough. At, like, like I've played Among Us a bit recently to where, <laughs> like, I am decent enough at throwing the truth out there to where I could probably obfuscate things a bit. Okay. But my body language, my mm -hmm. emotions, like, all this other yep. stuff, no, it'd be very, very obvious rather quickly if you were standing right in front of me. You'd be like, Caleb, right. you're, you're lying. And one of the things that I think works about this so well is that, one, she is very, very, uh, practiced with doing these elaborate lies but also yep. she was lying to herself uh -huh. and that's the best way you can trick somebody because if you believe it then why would they see any why would they why would they doubt it that is but then not, there's tells yeah. with things like oh how will we break up um well i realize that you still love my and that you'll never fully love me so i slap you in the face and storm off <laughs> Hmm. I was thinking about hmm. that when she said it. I'm like, but then he broke up with you. Right, right. Yeah, exactly. Because he would communicate that. That's Yeah, unless it's unless it's something where she finally gets frustrated enough uh -huh. with that that she dumps you. That she dumps you. That she basically which is kind gives of up. what this is sort of is here. Right. And and Sakata even comments on it. He's like, that's pretty close to reality right there. Like Yeah. Well, one know. of one of the things that um I feel like might have been within Sakata's mind and stuff like that, but I, I think I realize it from a, um, from more of a, my brain sometimes looks at how stories could go darker oh God. For, for the weirdest reasons. Okay, yeah. And I think Sakuta didn't call her out in the way that she was kind of being. He was way more patient with her. Okay. Because she was holding a very genuine threat over his head of doing this a oh. thousand times. Oh. And if he angered her, there was a possibility that she does it despite him. Possibly. But she likes him so much that I thought that that was a safety net in that it's like, if you really liked me, you would never do this. Yeah, I feel like... I, you like would that, be honest with me. That, that could be it. But at the same time, I feel like Sakata is a very chill kind of guy. Like, even when he when he confronts the, uh, the dude that could totally kick the shit out of him, he doesn't fully run away until until later. And then he's like, oh, that's damn, that was... True, you know, okay. I guess. Whew. It's a weird way to look at it, though, because um, I don't think he's actually that chill. Oh, OK. Um, the fact that he then kind of needed the excuse to go and belittle the the the, the guy. Uh -huh. He was like, oh, that's all the reason I need. Basically, he was like, OK, good. So I'm I'm he's like, I'm justified in my sure my thing that I'm going to do. It, to it this worked guy. because he was hot headed kind of a thing. Right, right. Where he's basically like. I need more reason to use my hot-headedness, basically. Gotcha. But yeah. I would say that, if anything, he's a cold on the outside, warm on the inside kind of character. Okay, sure. And hence, and hence sort of the, like, the, 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 the remarks and the banter and, and the sort of verbal sparring and stuff that he does with Mai, yeah. where a lot of it could just be, you know, on the surface, just, oh, m me, me, horny, you know, monkey. Right, right. Ooh, ooh, you know, but, but it's also probably that's how he interacts with a lot of people. Well, that's and how he interacts. just him turning it up a little bit more because it's, and well, also her, and he's, yeah, <laughs> monkey, horny, you well, know. Well, and also trying to communicate the genuine affection that, yes. that's there that, that, I, I mean, I can't just, I can't, I can't, like, the only way I can be comfortable saying I love you is by shouting it out in front of the school and saying it to you every day for a month, not actually being like, hey, Mai, I, 
I, I really, I love you. Right, right. You know, and he's got to do it in the... Yeah. Because he went very know. mechanical mm. once um, um, Koga? Koga started to freak out at the end with ah, everything yes. going on in her. And, and like... Like all the emotion just coming up and it confusing her, causing her to lie to herself, causing all this stuff to happen, yep. lying to him. And he's just very much like, no, nope, that's that, not the that, truth. That, 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 no, there's the truth. Right. Okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And and I feel like that's him like just kind of falling back on his strengths. Sure, even with the way that he told her, it's the I mean, I'm I'd be the only one that's lying, so I'm it's not really that big of a deal. Right. You know? But he turned sweeter once she started to realize what was going on there. Mm, and okay. I I feel like we just haven't seen that point though where something genuinely like breaks through that facade and he gets really upset. Sure. Like he was probably really upset when his sister was getting cyberbullied exactly, and things like that. Exactly. And it's the there's nothing I can do, but this is happening. Like he was probably pretty pissed back then. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Yeah, and given that he's the social outcast mm -hmm. at, well, he has been for, for a period right. of time, I would say that he doesn't have many people, really, that he has the opportunity to be emotionally expressive oh, sure. with. So maybe this is part of his story, is that he's getting to push past all that deflection slowly but surely, mm. kind of like what she was saying. It's like, why do you always deflect when people open up, you know, yeah, towards uh -huh. you and stuff? I'm like, mm -hmm, oh, that, there it is. That was, that, was a good, that was a good retaliation. Cold, you know? cold on the outside, warm on the inside. Those warm feelings and stuff like that are not just all fuzzy and wholesome. Sure. They can also, you know, be, they can be messy. They can be messy and In be fact, complicated. They're guaranteed to be messy. Right, right, exactly. Point. In the same ways that... Uh, uh, Koga's were in this whole situation. Yes, That's very rough bit to be to, to be in. Mm -hmm. um, but I love that we got to have everything with Sakura, Sakura Jima Mai just go. Just yeah, so like like resetting everything. everything. So it's reset. like no 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 no. It's all good. It's yeah. all good. He didn't even in this timeline. He didn't even have to pretend to be Koga's boyfriend yeah. or anything, right? Mm -hmm. And then and then the whole thing of well, how do you feel then? Well, well, no. just, okay, fine. Well, whoa, what's that? <laughs> right. huh? And then kiss on the cheek. Adorable, yeah. adorable. Yeah. I love yeah. it. I love it uh -huh. so much. Uh -huh. um, Futaba, yes, having the <laughs> connection of ah the quantum entanglement, which yeah. okay, sure, sure, whatever. Sure, you just throw again, Futaba just science terms out there, yeah. right? Right, yeah. Quantum entanglement is a thing that exists, but mm. you have no basis as to why this happened would, at all, <laughs> or how this correlates uh, to that necessarily. You guys but, kicked each other's uh, butts. Mm. Yep, that was uh that was the whole thing. It's oh, funny. Let's it's let's spoofy. test this for science. You know, I. Loved the fact that she said that, because one of the things that I've been feeling like they keep kind of, like, like kind of like teasing out a little bit is that Futaba is not just an exposition character. She's a mm. character that has feelings, damn it, and she's there and she's dealing with all these people. And these I mean, Bakas, like, he and even... then she's. I can tell that she was like, well. Like I actually would really love to kick you right now. Like, like just <laughs> just in general, you've you've caused me a bit of problems just oh, in sure. general. So. Yes, let's do this for science, but it's code for I actually really like you frustrate the hell out of me. Mm. So uh, I'm going to kick you right now. <laughs> but uh, we don't get to see that because yeah, the happen. world is cruel. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but the fact that at the end of this, we then get Makinohara Shoko yeah. younger mm -hmm. and his old crush. Who was older than who was, him. Yes, who was older than him. So they're uh -huh. really trying to drive the point home that... Oh, by the way, this is yeah. her. If you want to, like, but she is very much younger, right? And but, something's going on, which, which I love because as a, as a, the whole idea of okay, time loop. It's like, all right, yeah. that's a, that's a pretty DM railroady kind of a thing. Of right. you literally can't do anything else until you fix this issue, yeah. right? But with this, it's like this is a, this is a thing where theoretically you could just be like, oh, weird, you know, and then and keep on. going, yeah. right? But, but no, you crushed on her. You crushed on her, so and apparently you, there's some, so there's mm. some weird supernatural puberty syndrome or something shit going on. Yeah. You know. Now, what so. what feels a little bit, like, maybe curious about this is that uh -huh. this feels like something that would have been more directly relating to him. Hmm. Maybe more so than uh, a lot of the other things sure. have. Someone specifically from his past. Someone that he already knew and, and yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, the my thing maybe was... Like something that you could say was connected to him, but I don't think it, it very necessarily quickly, was. Yeah. Like she, she, she was know. already dealing with that before. Right before him. Before him. Yep. So so that's that's its own thing there. But um, mm -hmm. this though feels a bit more 
specific that maybe maybe he needed to go through a bit of this with uh, Koga before Possibly. this was something that would make sense to have. Could be. be Like, have it be a problem that he needs to help with. Well, in, in the... the oh, go ahead. Well, the our, our, our potato friend Kunimi um, mm -hmm. did mention at the beginning of the show of like, you know, oh, are you still hung up over, you know, Makinahara Shoko or something, yeah. or something like that, something to that extent. Yeah. So it's like, okay, is there is there some something within Sakata where it's like you need to you need to fully settle this before you can fully be in a relationship with Mai or you know or, or who knows right but yeah, yeah it feels like another um distraction potentially sure for his relationship with Mai just in general with, Which the, with the story it's gets, also kind of gets that bit thing. of like you know saltiness you know going just uh, a totally, little bit totally totally yeah. but but I could also see it being a thing where oh Wait, no, this may have actually nothing to do with you at all. Potentially. And it's just that um, something is causing her to kind of revert a little bit. And we did the future thing just before this. So now oh, let's right. do the past now, thing. Now let's do the other one. Yeah. Right, right. Mm -hmm. um, Could be. It also might be just a coincidence, but the previous thing before this with uh, Koga, before Koga, was past related. And then we have future and then past again so the next Wait, one could be future or the thing before Koga was past related Wait. memories oh yeah 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 so yeah. we've been alternating between past future past mm. you know and then the next thing after that could be future again maybe yeah we will have to see we'll have to see so great conclusion setting up for the next arc so y'all yep. thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion if you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now though go check out the link in the description below for our patreon you can get an early access there you can watch full-length timer reactions there and all this comes with discord access so you can chat with us and the community there about this show about anime in general and also be sure to check out our twitch channel we stream every weekday the info is in the description yeah so if any of that interests you we'll see you there but until then we're semblance of sanity i'm caleb i'm jacob and we'll see you all next, next time, time.